Right, wow, the Audi is in the workshop. It's been laid up in the yard for months. Well, I think it's been laid basically up for nearly two years. Yeah, I mean, the root issue with this Audi is the ECU in it is fucked. Right, so uh, first thing we've got to do is um, remove the bumper. So, you've got to remove these, like so, as easy. Um, yeah, they also require... You just want to prise in this side, yeah. just to uh, make we things easy know. first time. Right, well, whilst Darren's having a fight with the splash guards... Piece of shit! Because um, we've only got one working jack these days, I can't fire up the other side. I'm going to take this bit of manifold out, clear a bit of space to get the pump out. Uh, so we're going to undo the Allen keys there, and a couple bolts there. Nuts, I mean. So I'll take this section of inlet manifold off, and that will clear a nice area in the pump. Right, this is what happens when... Uh, Things go wrong, such as you break off your uh, T45 Torx bit, which is what you need require to undo your. You have to undo those T45s there to lower down your front of your sand panel. And when it goes wrong and you snap it, you probably have a secondary one spare. We're just going to weld on a bolt. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. We've been welded on. Oh. Just look at that, just fucking... I was actually going to say, I didn't know if you wanted to um, yeah, use, a, was... use a ratchet on it so you could actually put some gentle pressure on no, it instead of that. Just hammering the, the fucker way. straight away. She's good. Right, now we need some more bolts. Yeah. Because uh, we don't have a secondary one of these. And Halfords don't sell half inch. No. Oh, well they do, but well, only they... in a set. Well yeah, they do, only in a set, but the smallest singular half inch torch bit they sell is a fucking T55 and that's it's too big. It's Sunday and a uh, Saturday and it's written out. Burn out. Right, we skipped ahead a little bit but uh, basically we've undone those six and then a few wires, a few wires undone and then just basically wiring clean, it's all in one place which is one thing that is thought out slightly I suppose. And then you just swing her on down round. I think we will need a battery not for support but to stop that from leaking. <laughs> is it? Nice old shag battery right here. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, we stopped this. So next is the uh, fan. Fan. Whip this off. Watch How? This. Watch. Watch this. Fatal words. He says watch this, but he's got to find the tool first. So I bet you're being bang. It's a different size now, and I won't be able to use this. But what we'll do is we'll come in here. Oh, shit me, I need two, don't I? It's just going to slip because it's driven off the back of the belt. It's a piece of shit design. So I can get a conventional spanner in there. I have to put that on there. After watch this, it's hang on a minute, let's pause. <laughs> what size is this? Oh, no, Here we go. Oh. Right, we're just in the process of getting the pump off. I took the cam belt off. Um, it's a base mount pump, VP44. So just whip the four Allen keys out. Got the, got the pulley off the uh, front there. That's the pulley that we've somehow got to modify the fit of the E. As you've noticed, that shaft. That's my finger, is massive compared to even a 17 or 19mm VE shaft, so that's going to take some mods, but it shouldn't take long. Um, and we've got to get a VE in there, which is a slight issue because the turbo is in the way, so since we might have to move the turbo, I'm thinking we'll just accidentally put a bigger one in and mount it back there, cut that bulkhead out of it. Fuck knows what that's there for. It looks like Chris is just going to tear the pumping lines out completely, ideal. Oh, she's coming out, boys. 
Right, just been tearing into this a bit more today. Um, got all the stock airbox and crap out of the way. Ripped all the ABS out. Um, just get rid of the EGR system at the moment, which sort of came off there up onto a little valve and then up to the inlet. I'm going to sack all that off, bypass it. Um, just making up, or well, looking at starting to measure up, make up a mounting plate for the pump. Um, as you can see, the VP44 was bolted down. Uh, through the bottom studs rather than the front face and obviously there's nothing to bolt a front face to it's just plastic so we have to make up some brackets to a base mount of VE um, I just thought I'd give the engine a bit of a degreaser it's soaking in degreaser at the moment and I'll give it a blast off in a minute because it's a rather shit eye I don't think it's ever been cleaned since it was new um, so yeah we'll get this cleaned out a bit yeah, I just pressure washed it all off me mum looking a bit cleaner now might even get the paint out on the rocket covers, but I doubt it. Figured I'd tear a bit more down, seems there we haven't got the bits to uh, mount the pump here yet. So I've just taken the inlet manifold and the rocket covers off. Um, absolutely bung solid with carbon and oil because of the bloody EGR. So I've pressure washed all that out with the pressure washer, clean the rest as best as I can. Um, figured I might as well paint them a bit while they're off, clean it up a bit. Just doing the rocket covers as well. It's the only colour I had, uh, caterpillar yellow, so that that will suit the agriculture a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that back together again, and um, then I'm, what I'm waiting for, I need to go and get some steel plate um, to make a base plate up so I can get this pump mounted.